Whenever you are dealing with a person, an individual that is hurting themselves or others, there is a process in which you should confront them. And the Bible says this, Matthew 18, 15. First things first, you gotta pray because you could be like so angry, so upset that you really just need your emotions to subside. So you need time to pray, to concentrate, to understand what the situation is about. And not only that, but you wanna pray for the Holy Spirit to intercede on the other person's heart. So prayer is definitely the first thing you should do before confronting a person. Number two, go to them one-on-one. -on -one. None of this Facebook arguing, social media controversy, type thing going back and forth. like just go to the person there's been many people that have confronted me on facebook and i just stopped it there and i went to the person and i spoke to them directly and i handled it like it's crazy that a lot of people don't they, they skip this step there's a lot of people that skip this step now if you truly care for the individual you will confront the individual one-on-one -on -one, face to face number three if the individual is not listening to you then you want to bring two or three people to meet up with that individual and kind of act as witnesses. Number four, now if they still don't listen and they're still hurting other people and themselves, then you wanna bring them before the church. Now understand this, number three and number four, all right, number three is bringing witnesses, number four is bringing them before the church. The purpose of this serves two, there's two purposes. That is number one, either revealing to that individual that they're doing something wrong, or the second thing is, it's going to reveal to you that maybe your perception is wrong. Maybe you're seeing the situation in a wrong way and you've interpreted their actions wrongfully. Now, let's just say they are truly in the wrong. Well, this is the last step. It's the Bible says, treat them as a tax collector or a Gentile. What does that mean? Well, pretty much what that means is treat them as a sinner. And I know that term is pretty powerful, pretty strong, but how did Jesus treat sinners in the Bible with love, care, kindness, and patience for the purpose of bringing them back to God. See, accountability has truly lost its meaning. It's supposed to be a two-way street. Individuals look out for each other through a strong foundation of friendship. It just feels that these days, accountability is just a selfish opinion on how one person thinks another person should live without any ties or connections. Let us truly take the time to hold each other accountable through love, kindness, and patience.